Remove the cup. Pause the oil. Woo, that's a lot, okay. <laughs> well, we did want to fry it, so. Hello, my friends, welcome back. I'm finally back for another video. I know that my upload schedule has been really slow here of late. Uh, life has just gotten kind of crazy lately. Uh, nothing bad, really, just uh, all kinds of life stuff getting in the way, work getting in the way, and um, haven't had much time for fun. But today, I do have a little bit of time, so I want to get into Cooking Simulator VR because I think this is from the same developers as Thief Simulator VR, and that one I really enjoyed. I thought that was a lot of fun. So I have high expectations for this one. Let's check it out. All right, uh, new game, let's go for it. Sandbox mode, cooking school, leader challenge, career mode. Hmm. Well, I think cooking school is what I want. Yeah, I need to learn. Cooking school. Let's go. Alright, looks like um, our kitchen's already in disarray. There's sparks over there. Um, okay. Getting some pop-ups when my hand hovers things. Left joystick to move. Okay, using knife. Most products can be sliced into smaller pieces. Grab a knife, slice lemon into four equal pieces, and put it on a plate. Um, aha, of course. Alright, lemon into four equal pieces. <laughs> Gotta press harder. Okay, let's just start fresh. Lemon. Now, I know it's not safe to hold the lemon while you cut it, but I feel like I have to because this lemon is just moving so fast. There we go. Okay, my cutting skills are not off to a good start. Okay, let's be unsafe. Let's try it in my hand. Okay, this is not how you do it in real life. Do not do this. But in the game, it works out. Okay, four equal pieces. Put on a plate. Uh, skillet. Here are the plates. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there's a plate right here. <laughs> you know, the plate was the same color as the countertop, so it's basically invisible. Done. You finished this tutorial. Okay. Um, are there more tutorials in other areas? Or is that everything? Yeah, okay. Repairing. Okay, okay, let's see. What else we got? Um, preparing meat. Remote grabbing. Trigger and grab. Okay, cool. Preparing meat. We want to fry meat on both sides. You can turn it around using a spatula or tongs. Try it out. Okay, turn on the grill. Turn over steaks. Wait till they're ready. Okay, light is on. Okay. So, is it gonna indicate when I turn them over or do I just do it whenever I want? Oops. Oh, okay, trigger to get it on your... Okay, that's kind of cool. It, it hops on. Boing. Okay. Wait until the sticks are ready. I'm waiting. Flip. They look ready to me. Okay, now they're ready. Done. Uh, turn off. I finished this tutorial. Okay, what's this tutorial here? Um, seasoning. There are three types of seasoning. Liquids, herbs, and dry spices. Let's try to add some flavor to our meats. 
Use 5 grams of salt, 3 grams of thyme, and 10 milliliters of clarified butter to season trout. I've never heard of clarified butter. Hmm. Okay, so the trout. Let's, uh, salt. How do you measure this? To season the dish, shake the seasoning or tap trigger when it's turned down. Oh, that's cool, yeah. There, it tells me, okay. Two, three, five, okay. That's kind of cool, because in real life, you can just kind of tap with your index finger. That's cool, yeah. Um, three grams of thyme. Rosemary and thyme. Come on. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, three. Okay, one. That's cool, I'm digging that finger tap there. 10 milliliters of clarified butter. What is that, clarified butter? Remove the cap, then tilt it over the food. Right, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 10 milliliters. Okay. Uh, can I put the cap back on? Okay, <laughs> yeah, it magically gets on when you put it there. Uh, pepper. Cilantro, I love cilantro. Sunflower oil. Oh, <laughs> how much? Okay, there we go, great. Done. Okay, that's nice. What's another one? Sink? No? Okay, repairing. Kitchenware can be damaged or destroyed during the game. You can fix it using a phone. <laughs> Take phone. Choose repair company. Wait until repair is over. Okay, so you're... <laughs> you're not actually repairing it. You're just calling somebody to fix it. Hey, just like real life, right? Uh, That doesn't look like a good place. Fast service, I choose you. Okay. Excellent. Well, this game is close to my heart. That's how I fix everything. You finished this tutorial, all right. What else do we have? More appliances. Computer screen, PC and mouse. That's your personal computer. Here you can manage your work and your kitchen. Grab a mouse and go through every menu. Learn PC UI. Learn about every tab. Navigation bar, okay. I can see they really uh, adapted the Thief Simulator PC experience into here. It uh, works really well. Uh, tabs, go through every tab. Restaurant info tab, you'll find information about your actual restaurant status. Recipe manager. Okay. Order manager. For every available dish you can cook. Something is bothering you or you want to make cooking easier? Perks can do it. Check them and find your solution here. You can spend your earned skill points to become the best chef in the world. Design your kitchen as you wish. There's a lot of interior styles to choose from. You can even mix them. That was the last one. Click button to end tutorial. All right. Cool, so you get a career and you earn perks. Uh, this is where we serve the food for the people in the restaurant. Cool. Dish stacks and product shelves. If you need something to cook, you can buy it just from shelves, baskets, or fridge. Find anything you want and get it, but be careful, everything has its price. It's true. Take play from the stack. We already did that before from my earlier goof. Put one potato and one onion onto the plate. Ooh, look at this. Okay, uh, red potato. Does that count? Ching. Ah, that's how you buy things. Okay. One onion. Uh, that's garlic. Why are onions so hard to spot here? I know what an onion looks like, I swear. Oh, it's so much smaller than I thought it'd be. Okay, okay. 
I'm used to the like baseball size. Uh, oh, does it have to be that exact plate? Okay, I guess it has to be the exact plate. So, ching. No, hmm, it's not happy. This is the plate. Maybe it's the wrong potato. Maybe uh, the red potato won't do. Maybe it's got to be a big potato. I see. Okay, okay, okay. It's still not. Huh. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, I get the idea. Shopping and plates. Look at these. Bay leaf fresh. Nice. Fire extinguisher. This will come in handy, I'm sure. Sure. We've got our fridge. Crouch and tiptoe. Press A to crouch. Press it twice to tiptoe. Why would I tiptoe? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> when it said tiptoe, I was thinking like walking on your tippy toes, like sneaking. No, it's to go up. Yeah, to reach higher. Not to be sneak mode. I'm like, why would I sneak mode in my kitchen? Okay, this door is a little wily, but... Can I just sample food? Like, eat it? No. Because I've heard that a good chef is supposed to eat the food as they cook to know how the flavors are going. But I guess uh, it makes sense you wouldn't be able to taste it. Okay, well, I feel ready to start a challenge of some kind. Okay, new game. Sandbox mode. Leaderboard challenge, career mode. You know what? Um, let's start a career. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm the manager of this place. Since it's your first day, I'll show you the ropes. But before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost. One, during this tutorial you can view your tasks in the bottom left corner of the room screen. Okay. Two, you can minimize the task list and incoming messages by clicking on it. Click it again to show it back up. Three, this tutorial will autosave between stages. So if you get lost or stuck, you can always go back. No time to take a breather. This place is empty and we're going to do something about it. First, you'll need some utensils. Find the tablet and grab it to buy a blender. Okay. Find the tablet. Oh, <laughs> that's handy, all right. Very large tablet here. Buy blender. Blender. Buy. All right, <laughs> in my hands. All right, cool. Right there. Buy cooking equipment. Buy one big tray, two big pot. And this scroll. Oh, much more, much more. Okay, okay. Uh, I should probably be over here. More room to put things. All right, groovy shopping music. Big tray, big pot. Do I buy one at a time? I can't just add to my cart. Looks like it's one at a time. That's fine, okay. Big pot. Ching. Uh, two big pots, two big pots. One cutting board, one knife, one pan. Oh, okay, from the top, there we go. It's all here laid out for me. Easy shopping. Pan spatula. Right, okay, it's all here. Cool. Good job. Thank you, ma'am. We've got the tools, but we don't have any recipes. Go to your PC. Ba -ba -ba. Recipe manager. Um, not owned? 
Oh, I forgot to read, right. <laughs> Buy a recipe for baked trout by clicking the highlighted button. Baked trout. Okay. Let's see, something easy. I know. Buy salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Salmon steak. Yes. That sounds pretty good. Okay. And the last one, tomato soup. Classic. Tomato soup. Okay. That should do for now. Let's improve our menu once the business gets rolling. It's a deal. Okay, let's see. Utensils, recipes, oh yes, we'll need spices. Let's visit the shop. Uh, where'd my tablet go? Yeah. Click on the spices tab and buy salt. Salt is very important. Okay. Once we're open, there's not going to be much time for shopping. Best we buy all the needed spices now. Okay, maybe I should move over here for a little more room. Alright, uh, yeah, same as before, everything is just here on the same page, so I don't have to, don't have to hunt for these, they're all laid out for me. Ching, ching. Okay, nice, she says. We still need some liquids. Go to a tablet and use the shop. Tablet. Liquids. Okay, bye. Bye. Ching. Ching. Okay, almost there. Okay, I did my part. Let's see how well you do to, excuse me, how well you, <laughs> how well will you do yours? I want you to serve me a baked trout. At the end, I'll rate you just as a regular guest would. Don't worry, you'll have some help. I've asked a friend of mine to guide you through the process. Oh. Alright, we have our chef guide here. Need a trout. Let's find the refrigerator, shall we? Alright, refrigerator found. Trout. And what's his instructions? Buy one trout. Ching! Now, put that trout on a cutting board. <laughs> I definitely could have arranged this a little better. Uh, there's a lot of freedom here. You put the utensils wherever you want. A lot of freedom in organizing your kitchen here. Black pepper, dill, and thyme. Five grams each. Just pick up a spice container, target the fish, and shake it to start seasoning. Okay, five each. Pepper, dill, and thyme. Five. Pepper. A lot of pop-ups here. There we go. And dill. Dill weed. All right. Now take the trout. Place it on a baking tray. Baking tray. Oven! Note, you can use many trays at the same time. Okay, oven. Yeah, so far the interactions feel pretty good, and the freedom, so far this is uh, pretty nice. Okay, what's the deal with the oven here? Upper oven. Yeah, I did, right? Unless there's another one. Oh, that oven. My mistake. Upper oven. Okay. Coming against my walls here. All right, slider in. Aha! Yeah, all right. Okay, I just do that. For how long? Now we leave it in for 90 seconds. Hmm. I should have started counting. 
We need a lemon. Buy one lemon. Lemon. Place it on the cutting board, as you wish. Use the knife to cut the lemon into four pieces. Try to make them even. Okay. Got some performance issues here, but... Oh, interesting. Trigger flips it around. Okay, this is a little wonky. Too. <laughs> okay, good enough. <laughs> There's my big chart recipe. I guess we just put the lemon on the... Oh, okay. Put the lemon on the tray. This is hot, but I'm guessing it's okay to grab. Don't do this in real life either. Smoking. Uh, ah, yes. Time for plating. Yeah, so far, all the interactions feel great, but chopping that lemon is really challenging for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe we'll get uh, better chopping later on. Horseradish. Naturally. Five grams, you say? Finally, pick some fresh parsley onto the plate. Six grams should do for garnish. Uh, yep. I don't know how much I grabbed. Um, how do I find out what's currently on there? Okay, two grams so far. So, two more grabs of this. Getting more performance issues here. That should be it, right? Is that not six grams of uh, parsley? Yeah. It says there's six grams of parsley on there, so. Ah, yes, it's ready, okay. Serve it. Hopefully things don't fall off here. Stay on, stay on, okay. <laughs> All right. And, um. This, I guess. Big trout, ready to go. Bon appetit. All right. Five star taste, five star realization time, five star score. I guess my lemon cutting was uh, adequate. 45 bucks for that salmon <laughs> or trout. Wow. Okay, cool. Okay, tomorrow will be open for business, so do your best. After each day, you'll be presented with a summary of progress the restaurant made. Oh, and please don't go bankrupt. <laughs> That's what my wife says to me. Okay. Day one, fame, cooking points, orders. Okay. Summary of the day. Earning skill points. Level one, new perks available. Choose perk. Uh, more skill points. Oh, you know what? I see it right now. Steady hands. That's what I want. Hold down trigger to freeze items in place while cutting. I want that. Definitely. Because the, the cutting so far is my weakness. Yeah, great. Upgrade my skills. Okay, so we have perks and skill points as well. Hmm. Hmm, a lot here. Cheaper products. That sounds good. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Cheaper spices. We're probably going to use a lot of spices, so. And, um. Taste tolerance. Sure. 
Okay, okay, I had to click it and then do level up. Where was the cheaper spices? I think that'll really add up. Let's just do uh, cheaper products. No, cheaper recipes. Level up. Cool. Next day. All right. Perks are very powerful. Unique abilities. Once every few levels. Right, I already did that. Yeah. The choice can't be postponed or undone, so it's very important. All right, I can view my perks on the laptop. Skill points are used to unlock and upgrade skills. Yeah, I already did that. Great. Preparation phase. The name should tell the story. No orders yet, but you can use anything in the kitchen to prepare for the day. Make sure to prepare the ingredients we'll be using. Getting a head start on some of the dishes is also a good idea, as long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Open the skill manager app using the left side menu. So in Groovy Kitchen, recipe manager, no, skills. Skills uh, provide you with small gameplay bonuses. If you didn't spend your skill points yesterday, you can do so now. Okay, but I did spend them, so we're good. Some skills become available once our restaurant gains enough fame. You can choose to save up SPs and use this app later to unlock what you need. You can even reset all your skills and spend your SPs differently. Okay. Perk browser app. Perks. Yep, steady hands, I remember that. Review the perks I've done, yep. Yikes, look at the time. Yeah, let's get cooking, yeah. Enough talk, let's cook. All right, sexy chef guy is here. I thought you might still need me today, so I'm here, but only for today, don't get too attached. First order is salmon steak with boiled potatoes. Find a big pot. All right. Big pot. We're gonna boil. Gonna need some water, right? Yep. One liter of cold tap water. Cool. Yeah, the readouts are really, oops, okay, about one liter, good enough, right? Readouts are nice, seeing the measurements and stuff. 20 grams of salt. All right. Buy two potatoes while holding the pot. While holding the pot, okay. I wonder why I have to hold the pot when I buy the potatoes. Just put them straight in, is that why? All right. Yum. Fetch a salmon. Salmon. I have a salmon. Cutting board. I don't start the uh, boiling yet? Salt and black pepper? The salt uh, is over there. Come on. I tried the gravity gloves. Come on, there we go. Recipe on any display for exact amounts. Salt 20, no, that's the pot. Uh, the salmon gets five grams each, salt and pepper. One thing this could be really good for is um, learning real life skills, like learning real recipes in here. You get to practice without buying all the food and stuff. Uh, frying in oil, so we'll need a pan. Find one. I found one behind my tablet. On the cooker. Okay, it did tell me to turn this on. Yeah, it did. Okay, my mistake. Sunflower oil on the pan. 10 milliliters should be good. Highlighted for me, thank you. Remove the cup. Pour the oil. Woo, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> well, we did want to fry it, so. 60 seconds steak. Ba 
ba ba ba ba. Oh, overall progress bar in that recipe. Okay, cool. And I got uh, four and a half minutes to finish this. Yep, the potatoes are uh, steaming, so that's working. Okay. Hover your hand for these progress bars. I didn't know that. That's nice. <laughs> it says soup. Maybe it's because I use way too much oil. It thinks I'm doing a soup. <laughs> okay, that's a handy progress bar. Soup. That's so funny. Uh, should be done now, right? Yeah, he's not moving his... Okay. That's gotta be done now, right? Oh! <laughs> 60 seconds each side. I need a spatula. Of course, of course. Alright, let's put you down first, and then we'll try flipping you. The heat's on, put you there. Okay, hopefully that'll do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, almost done with the salmon filet. And that's gotta go on the plate. I hear a pop-up, but we can get a plate now. Okay, let's call that salmon filet good. Don't use your hands in real life, that'd be very bad, but in the game you can. Just pour that down the trash. <laughs> uh, okay. And the potatoes. Okay, potatoes on plate serve hot. Remember, do not do this at home. Using your hands is very bad. That's a bad habit to form. Okay. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Let's see. All right, it's ready. Bon appetit. <laughs> Taste three out of five. That's okay. You know, I did, I did burn the fish a little bit, so that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, uh, what do we, what's next here? No time for slacking. Next order is here. Tomato soup. Alright, empty a big pot. This one's full. Get rid of that. And we want to... Chicken broth. 700 milliliters. Oh. <laughs> Remove the cap. Uh, okay. Turn these off. Yeah, pouring is very bad. Okay, good enough. Uh, where'd the cap go? Okay. There we go. It's nice how the caps naturally find their way. That's nice. Season according to the recipe. Salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. Okay, it's all highlighted for me. Salt is 12 grams. Okay, 12 grams of each of these. Oh wait, no. This is cayenne. This is six grams. Okay. And this is 12. All right. Take the pot. Eight tomatoes. Eight tomatoes, okay. Final touch, we need an onion. Ching. All right, time to cook. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Soups are nice. 60 seconds, keep an eye on the time. Not all recipes call for all products to cook through. Okay, now we can... Okay, yeah. 
So I'm guessing we want the tomato and onion to be fully cooked, but the chicken broth can be behind is my guess. Let's see. You know, all the um, cooking instructions are with time. Oh, I have a timer here. Oh, for crying out loud. I never said, okay, I get it now. Okay, okay. Well, hopefully these progress bars will guide me properly. Oh, man, I feel dumb. I should've done the timer. Okay. And progress bar, progress bar. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm just grabbing these things with my bare hands when they're boiling hot. Blend the contents of the pot. Do I have a tool for that? I do. Nice. Okay, great. Yeah, we got a thick broth. Sour cream. Mmm, that's gonna seal the deal. Yeah. Sour cream. 150, right? Yeah. Yeah, the pouring and mixing of ingredients is the best I've seen in any cooking game. That's always been the fatal weakness, I think, of any cooking game I've tried before. The mixing, measuring. And this works really well, all these readouts. A deep plate and place it on a counter. A deep plate. A deep plate or wide bowl, perhaps. Get these out of the way. Take the pot and aim at the bowl. Okay. <laughs> that was a mess. Alright, this is brimful. Here we go. We're spilling it everywhere. That's hilarious. Uh, one extra large soup coming up. Bon Appetit! Five stars! Alright! Fantastic! Okay, I want to go back to cooking school. I'm gonna try cutting one more time, because I feel like that's the, uh, so far, that's the Achilles heel of this. If the cutting works well, then this is a really, really sweet uh, cooking game. But so far, the cutting's been really challenging for me. Okay, knife, lemon, okay, it's not giving me any more instructions on how to do this, so let's try this, oh, okay, okay, if I just press down hard, like my hand is going beyond the cutting board, it then sort of holds it in place. Pressing trigger flips it like I'm a, like I'm throwing it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, yeah, you want to just steadily press down the whole time. I didn't realize it was beginning to penetrate and catch. You gotta keep at it. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. And you can't really do that. Oh, you, you can sort of cut it uh, without holding it. Yeah. These smaller pieces you can sort of just chop. Okay, I see. I was going way too wild. You gotta be much more controlled. There we go. That's much better. Much better. Okay, that was my last reservation about this. Yeah, push them aside. Cool. This is the best cooking game in VR I've ever played.
There are some quirks, there's some performance issues, but granted my PC is definitely aging. Uh, PC specs are on the channel about page. My PC is definitely <laughs> aging these days, and so if you got a much better PC, you might not face these performance issues. But yeah, look at the detail when you cut these open, all the textures inside. That's cool. Let's hold that still. How far down, how far can you cut these? Like, there must be a limit with how small these get. Anyway, that's not relevant right now. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the best cooking VR game I've ever played. And we've barely scratched the surface. We haven't done, uh, in the campaign, we didn't really get to this side of the kitchen at all, these utensils. Uh, all the interactions feel really nice. The measurements, the pouring, the making sure you're precise with how much you're doing, that feels really nice. Yeah, this is very well done. Very well done. And uh, I might experiment with uh, changing the quality settings so I can get better performance out of this for my PC. Um, I'm probably due an upgrade sooner or later, but I would recommend this. I think it's pretty good education for real life and a uh, fun little game. So uh, hopefully I'll have more videos coming up uh, in a couple weeks or so. Like I said, life's gotten kind of kind of bonkers these days, but um, sooner or later I will be back. So thanks for hanging in there and thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Did you just say good education for the wife? <laughs> what? Did you just say good education for the wife? No, I, I did not say that. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.